you know, we've had a tremendous blow to all the uh, coastlines, you know, from the state line all the way over into Louisiana. Uh, we've had uh, uh, several fatalities. Uh, I don't know a total body count at this point. I mean, just the force of the water, it, you know, it, when it wants to move something, it does. It's bad. You know, you always, uh, we, we planned for maybe some water. I think a lot of people thought they might get some flooding, of course, but you, we never anticipated anything like this. No one did. And, uh... We're in a horrific situation right now. Take a step back, take a breath. It's hot out there. Get on the control. Everyone is in the same boat. <laughs> Trying to find gas? Mm-hmm. All day. All day. Just ran out on the way up here to this line. They do have food items that say RTV, but they do not have gasoline. The pilot, sometime today, that's Cedar Lake exit just north. You'll see the long line of cars. Uh, that is going to have gasoline until it lasts, I guess, in a much sure time. I've been in line for food, I've been in line for water, I've been in line for ice. I don't have anything. I've lost everything. I've got to start from scratch, and that's okay. I'll get through this. Uh, we came from um, Heron, Illinois. We have a little church of about 30 people, and um, we pulled all this stuff together in a day and a half. We drove 12 hours to get here. And, um, Trying to feed all we can. A, a lot of these people, they're just, they're hurting. They're hurting really bad. Um, we're just trying to give them hope. 